What up, what up? Welcome back to the Sneaker History Podcast. My name is Nick Ingvall with my guys, Mike Guillory, Robbie Falke. Falke or Fauci? We've discussed this before. Which way you want to go, Robbie? So the funny thing is my grandparents both said it each way. So like I've never <laughs> really, I've never once cared. Okay, so so I'm gonna suggest, uh, as as our Patreons did, that we just go with Young Peloton, Young Tom the Don, uh, Young Peloton. I I, I kind of set you up for that, but you know, we can't we can't do that till we have the money. We, we like can't be giving Peloton. I already pay oh, them I... straight up on a monthly basis. <laughs> they don't need that free marketing. But I what I will say. Is that if you're on Peloton and you're in the Discord, I have added whoever has given me their information. So maybe we'll go on a bike ride sometime. I'm really sporadic. I'll do it at like seven in the morning. I'll do it at seven PM. I don't have a set time, so I'm impossible to coordinate with, but I'll see what you're doing. So uh I call myself Pella Rob. Pella Rob. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Instead of Peloton. And that and that's a self given nickname. That's like um, what did Aaron Rodgers want to be called? Uh, or some? Yeah, what was that? I don't know. No, uh, no, Russell yeah. Wilson. He, he wanted to be like Mr. Spectacular. Yeah. He wanted yeah. his nickname. Yeah. <laughs> he tried to make his own nickname. So not making that happen. Before, I call myself Pella Rob to myself. I'm trying to make that. Happen. Yeah. But basically, <laughs> I, I I was just I was just saying that because we should plug the uh, the Discord, the Patreon, because there's been some pretty pretty hilarious conversations in there not to mention <laughs> you might be watching this on video on youtube right now but you would have seen us even earlier if you joined the discord and the patreon so one more reason to join yep. aside from just being able to know when robbie's going to be on the bike you know so but anyway <laughs> how you guys doing you know out here chilling, you know, wearing this uh this Rockets thirteen jersey could be for the last time. Who knows? <laughs> I'm sitting in my closet, so why not? That's a really cool jersey. Like I don't like a lot of the sleeved ones, but that looks really cool. It looks Ross wearable. Fine. Fifteen dollars last year, at Ross. That's what's up. But yeah, so boy. many jerseys, like the Warriors one in particular, didn't look right. The, yeah, it had like a doesn't look good on the streets. That I think looks really cool. Oh, thank um, you. I'm doing the same. Um, I've been doing nothing with my life other than playing PlayStation. So <laughs> I figure I might as well rep represent another company who's not paying me. But dang, send us the bags. <laughs> I'm good. I just play a lot of PlayStation. <laughs> nice, nice. I've uh, how you how doing? You, I've, uh, you know, I'm uh, I'm still recuperating from a little uh, a little back injury, so I haven't really done much of anything productive basically save my energy for this and spend the rest of my yeah. days either on the couch or in bed. So, um, but I'm feeling much better than I did, you know, a week ago. So, uh, that's actually kind of encouraging, but well, that was good. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's got me motivated in ways that I, uh, needed to be motivated. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't know if I'm, I, if the Peloton will ever be in the budget, but if they want to sponsor us and send me one, then I'll be on there with Robbie. Uh, you know, it's seven in the morning and seven PM, whichever, whatever it takes. <laughs> I won't speak uh, to the affordability of the unit but, um, <laughs> for <laughs> for lack of money purposes, but it's not that bad. Oh, uh, so uh, what are you guys? What are you guys rocking? What are you guys copping this week? Anything on the radar? Yeah, on the feet. Uh, on the feet I went to the post office today. Because we had a live comic show, me and my buddies, and actually had to send some books out. So I threw on the OG meets OG questions. Can't beat these. And pickups, I got one that came in I talked about earlier last week. But we got the Kobe ones that came in, thank goodness, since I had to, uh, you know, settle. I don't want to say settle, but I had to uh, kind of transition from the Kobe 5 since that just wasn't happening. And then I walk out the door today to go to the post office, and these bad boys are sitting here. I had no idea they were coming, but these are the uh, the street slay, the street slay, um, Reebok questions, and it is a uh, I guess a tribute to bike culture. So you got like the candy paint on the toe, you got the you know black for the tires, and you just got kind of like outlandish like electric electric green laces. So these are pretty dope. I like them a lot. That's what I 
copping rock for right now. Those qu- nice. those questions look pretty good. Yeah, is there is there uh like the the neon green, lime green, or whatever on anywhere on the shoe, or is no, it just the... that is just the laces? I really wish that in the you know the hexalite representation on the side, it would have been cool if they would have went in the background and added that that green. I think it would sort of pop just a little bit better. But I mean, I'm putting the green laces on regardless. I haven't put them on foot; they're not lace, but I'm throwing these bad boys on. I like that the green isn't anywhere else. It's just like a really aggressive pop. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, is. I, definitely is. I was gonna say the same thing. I actually think it's better with with it with just the laces, right? Because then you don't always have to have that crazy pop, and it looks like a pretty solid, you know, huh. just there you br- go. bread colorway, basically. So, how about you, Robbie? Makes sense. Solid. Um, I wore today. Some Barclays because I, I we were thinking about shoes we, um, twenty twenty shoes and these are ones that I forgot even came out. But I've worn these a few times now. You got to give them a good, uh, you got to give them a good two three wears to start breaking in that booty. It's very uh, very tight around here, and there's a deep curve in the sock liner. So like you really have to like use the straps and get in there, or you're gonna get caught on the sides. So oh, they're, they're 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 finally broken in and they're cool. Um, the right. black colorway just dropped. Um, I've been going back and forth whether or not I want those. I mean, I I, I want them, but whether or not I want to buy them because these are pretty much close to all you need with the Barclays with this model. So mm-hmm. why not? It's a cool shoe. And um, when it comes to copping, I just really want those alternate jersey not laker questions well and the j baldins <laughs> but these this episode would debut long after i've taken those l's i think i have like 15 not counting other people's 15 openings to take these l's but talking in a future tense uh the questions for sure those have been on my mind for three four months now so yeah but your jordan right. one luck has been pretty solid man like your jordan one luck on the sneakers out the past few releases i mean who knows? I do have, I, I want to say sneakers knows that I enjoy the Jordan one in particular, because I do get more, I do get more hits on that than I want to say any other model, well, definitively than any other model. Yeah. Stats. I mean, I, what about I, you, uh, I'm just going to shamelessly plug the discord because we are now using, uh, soul retriever raffles and Mm -hmm. i've entered about five or six times for robbie to get these j balvin ones so um it's it's kind of nice to have all the all the raffles show up in one place which is another good reason to join the patreon discord whatever but um true i uh as far as a cop obviously the the not lakers not kobe questions are uh, like weighing heavily on my heart. So I don't want to spend resell on them, but it's a good possibility that I have to. It's, it's probably going to be, it will be the only question that I've bought in quite some time. So um, that's, that's what's on the radar today. I wore, uh, I have like a pair of ultra boost, like OGs with the purple heel um, at the door. So uh that was that was what was on feet but yeah uh not one question this year we got to fix that that's a that's a travesty (laughs) you owe me a soda (laughs) so so i've got uh i've got i've got some interesting stuff coming in this episode we're going to talk about uh Uh you know favorite pickups of the year favorite shoes of the year um regardless of whether we got them or not probably some of our most heartbreaking L's of the year and uh yeah so uh, I'll, I'll get into that I'll get into why I didn't get any questions this year because it, it was definitely a choice although I don't know that it was a good choice it was definitely my choice so, uh, <laughs> it's just a choice though yeah but before we get into the to the episode uh, I want to read a review real quick this one comes from Hella Kicks Gerald uh five-star review on iTunes 
says, I take the insoles out too. I've just recently found your show. It's funny. I'm roughly your age, maybe a bit older, but re never really got into online to the online sneaker world. I just collected and chased them in my own world. Anyways, I enjoy your takes on numerous topics and the pod and the pods really entertaining. I was driven to write when Nick didn't like the Iversons because they are Cowboys themed. I miss that type of actual <laughs> fandom in the works of a champion in in a works of champion pants with Yeezy. Oh, oh, he means in a world of champion pants with Yeezy kicks and off white hoodies. Anyway, not even hating the hype beast stuff, just like the true sneakerhead. Used to order off East Bay and stuff. Really wish I knew about Nike Talk back in the day. Keep your keep your head up, Nick. The Niners will get back to the Super Bowl soon. I just spent 30 minutes inspecting my fire red fours. They look okay. <laughs> uh, so shout out to Hel Helikix Gerald for the review. Uh, I, I, I would say that the perfect analogy of whether or not you're going to appreciate this podcast comes at the end of Helikix Gerald's review. If you spent 30 minutes just staring at your fire reds, you're probably in the right place listening to our podcast. Yes. Sounds about right. Snaps, jazz, <laughs> like so. That's so true. He said snaps. Yeah. Oh, uh, but, see, I didn't get a pair, so I don't know if it was good or not. <laughs> I I didn't either. I did pull out the 2012s that I have. They're pretty beat up, and mm. I wish I would have bought a new pair. But again, I'm going to defer till later in the show to discuss that <laughs> choice. But uh, if you do have a moment, you know, obviously, if you're watching this on YouTube, like, subscribe, hit the bell, all those things that we're not used to saying on this podcast. But if you're listening on iTunes, especially, uh, you know, tap into the app and leave us a review on iTunes. It's super helpful to, you know, help us grow the channel or sorry, channel. I'm mixing it all up. Super helpful in helping us grow the audience and, and the, the community here. And, and if you're if you're really enjoying our content, make sure you check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash sneaker history. And uh, that'll get you into our Discord, which is arguably more fun than the podcast itself sometimes. So um, and a lot more interactive between, for, for you guys. <laughs> so, so what Nick Sad is saying that. is listening is good. Review is better. Discord <laughs> is Best. better. -er. <laughs> exactly. I don't want to say it's best. Review is also super duper good. <laughs> but there tends to be um a correlation between review leaving and joining the Discord. Because if you care enough to leave a review, might as they well take help. it a baby step further and just go yeah. ahead and join the Discord too. So Yep. I, yeah, I also would say that uh, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> daily kicks too. I mean, I, I find myself going on Instagram and Twitter so much less than when before when we didn't have the discord, right? It's like, I feel like I just resonate with people in there. And I don't mm -hmm. really have to think about all of the dumb stuff that social media <laughs> requires and expects. Um, but I, I feel like I guess this is the best way I can explain it. If you've been listening to the podcast for a while, you obviously know, Robbie's a fan of of the the burner accounts, right? So I feel like if I had a burner Instagram account, it would be Discord basically. Like that's that's where my like just nonsense thoughts go where I'm like sending random stuff to people in the DMs like, "Oh, I thought of you when I saw this random thing on <laughs> Reddit today." Uh, yeah, but it is what it is. It's a, it's a good time for all. Most definitely. How do we how do we want to approach this uh favorite sneakers of 2020 topic? You know, it's a two-sided coin here. It's like, oh, the things I got, I bought that I really liked, and I'm like, oh, those are some of my favorites of 2020. Then there's the other side, the the things I couldn't get, the things I look back and I'm not paying resale for they're way too expensive, and I just missed out on every other opportunity. So, so. let me just tell you, I tell you what. Um, I had to stop and think about what I didn't get. And obviously some shoes come to mind. Um, yeah. most of them are ones I, I liked, but has chose not to get. But when it comes to like the hyper limited things, maybe it's just my personality. And I brought it up in the past. Just let it go. You didn't get them. Just keep it moving. Something else is coming. 
Mm-hmm. I don't remember like as many of the L's. I'm sure as I hear shoes and as we see in the Discord and other places, I'll be reminded, you know, other top 50 lists we see online. Um, I'll be reminded of the burn. But for right now, it's like, yeah, I got some shoes I wish I would have had. But um, I'd be playing myself. And this is why I brought up shoes we should have acquired or gotten in 2020 because oh, yeah. I'd be playing myself if I didn't like put shoes I put money on or people that supported me sent me like those are like the best thing because it's not just like oh I got the off-white Jordan 5 like hell yeah I want that shoe like I really I wish I would have gotten that and the sale 4 I forgot the sale 4 even came out until I said off-white 5 that kind of stuff is happening constantly but like I'd rather have something sent to me that has like cool packaging and a meaning and um, just like some type of partnership and something there than just like another off-white shoe that I'm going to forget I have. You know, it's just like there, there's other ways to look at pickups and what you value. And oh, some yeah. of the picks I have here are like, all right, this isn't the hottest shoe. None of my picks are really like super limited hot releases, but they're like stuff I liked. And if you're listening to this podcast, you probably picked up stuff you like too. So let's keep that train rolling. Well said, sir. Yep. I agree. So who wants to start off? I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to toss to you guys to, to <laughs> kick, it, kick it off with, with the choices. Go ahead, Robbie. You go your, you do your first one. I'll go after you. I do have them all right here and Nick, eat your heart out. Cause it really is my favorite. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It really is my favorite of the, the, the acquisitions of Air Max 90 this year. It's the orange unofficial giant, the rival of the Air Max one in orange which I almost bought too. I was like, man, fuck it. I don't need that many orange shoes. I don't even like orange that much. Um, <laughs> I like this color. Right. But just like I bought, um, I bought four pairs of these in 2020. I bought the blue, the volt, the infrared oh. and these. And in 2019, I was saying, man, the Air Max 90 is kind of whack. I've never liked that <laughs> shoe. And I subsequently bought four of them. Like I wasn't gifted four pairs. I went and purchased four four pairs of them. <laughs> Two of them at no, I shit. I bought all of them at retail too. I didn't even what? do anything. You got this like, one cheaper, cool. didn't you? I thought you got like a discount on like a discount code on this one, didn't you? I got the base size uh, on an infrared, but um, no, no, the blue pair I got from the employee store, like the the royal, the oh, royal yeah. so, bubble. So technically, you bought oh, okay. five pair, right? Because you got Dang. Got, got your lady a pair too. Correct. I mean, How, we can't. <laughs> she has headphones on, so we're good right now. How the times but, uh, have changed. Oh. <laughs> we're good. But no, just like this was not a difficult shoe to acquire if you were looking for it. But if you were sleeping, it sold out. If you blinked too long, it was gone. So I saw yeah. these on, uh, was it Lee Bannon? Lee Baron. Oh, Lee Baron. Yeah. yeah. Lee Baron. From, I always call it Lebanon in my head. And <laughs> I just, I'm dyslexic and I don't read things. <laughs> Just so, choose not to read things. No, nah, I for real just don't read things. I'm like, all right, I get what that is. Like, I don't need. I don't need to read that <laughs> it's the first and last letter. That's all I need. Yeah, I was like, okay. Comprende, comprende. Um, oh, dude. But no, a random restock. They put on Instagram that they had these, and I bought them right away. And I was like, okay, say less. They did that so, with a uh, couple shoes this year. I bought from them. Just like, okay, say less. I've been looking for that. Black Black Friday. I knew you already bought them though, but Black Friday they had a. Uh, is it 30 or 40% off your purchase? So, and it was pretty much everything on their site, including those before they sold out. Bro, I wear them so much. I don't even like care that I paid full price. Like these are oh. like a- every day. I mean, as a whole, the model as a whole this year has probably taken up more foot time than any other model this year. So that that's my that's, first pick. That's a, that's right. a good pick. Right. I, I'm definitely jealous. I didn't, I didn't get the orange pair and, uh, I think the Air Max 90 is is probably one of the easiest shoes to wear because you don't necessarily have to have the laces tight and it's still a comfortable shoe. So it's easy to slip on and off whether you want to like actually go through lacing them up or not. And specifically with like the color blocking that's dropped this year, right? That's the key. Like the key is just keeping it simple. It's like, it's like yep. Jordan ones, right? We talk about it all the time. We're like, you could you could swap out the orange 
on the shattered backboards for any other color in the rainbow and the shoe's going to look really dope. And I feel the same way about the Air Max 90. Like that's mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. How about you Mike? What's your what's your first first on the list? Whew. Let me see, let me see. I don't, there's like no particular order to them. They just all are like five of my favorites that I've been beating the mess out of ever since I got them. But I have to go with my New Balance 992s first. Um I guess the 992 had a bit of a resurgence this year. I guess starting with the Joe Freshfit colorway, but I got the multicolored pair. Um, they just stuck out a lot to me. Again, you know, Nick's favorite orange color popping off here. But just everything going on with it, it's a Miller Made in the USA uh, rendition, so it's nice materials all the way around. It's one of those shoes that is so out there that you can wear with pretty much anything. And I was a big fan. I like the Violetech color, like Dunks and uh, Air Trainers from Nike. And honestly, when I look at the, those shoes, I think this one did it better because it utilizes those same kind of color palette, but it put a way better material. So this one I got in, around my birthday in July. So I've been wearing them you know, to the grocery store ever since because we hate doing much else. I just hate cleaning them because, man, that suede is so hard to clean. <laughs> They make uh, suede um, sponges, so it, uh, it looks like a sponge, but you brush it across the suede. I use them on my historically my new buck shoes. Okay. Yeah, you can buy them at like, any place. Yeah, it's like a big spongy made just for suede and stuff. Suede. Well, I need that. <laughs> All right, Nick, what you got, man? All right, so I am on the end of a one year no purchases run. So I've been just basically holding out from buying anything like October, end of October last year, 2019, I basically was gonna try to go a full year without buying a pair of shoes. Uh, I mean, had COVID not hit, there's no way in hell I would have made it the whole year, but then COVID (laughs) hit, life went in a different direction and I didn't have the money, the time or energy to be chasing after some of these shoes. But yeah. the first pair that I got off my uh, hiatus was the infrared nineties. And go. this is my, this is like probably top five shoes for me of all time. Uh, I have a pair of 2012s, not accessible. They're actually down in the garage, but um, <laughs> I haven't, I haven't bought a pair of infrared nineties since then. And, uh, this was one of those things where I actually had Robbie get a pair and then he was like, Hey, wait, they're still available. You should grab them. Cause I'm going to keep my pair. So it works out for the best, but, uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's just crazy. Cause like, this is just such really? a, a, such a stupidly classic, simple shoe. And I'm not mm-hmm. my, my list of these end of year things will always be kind of different than most people. Cause I try not to pick retro product, but it's hard when some of the retro product is really, really important. So, so good. infrared 90 mm-hmm. first shoe that I've bought in over a year. And I mean, I actually want another pair of them, which is why I had to cut myself off and say, you can't buy shoes, but <laughs> here I am back at it again i i I just ended this whole thing a month ago and i already bought three or four or five pairs now so i mean it's just (laughs) just just a a hey that's why we're here right (laughs) we can all relate to this yep (laughs) hi my name's nick i have a (laughs) hi nick (laughs) exactly it it really was though i mean it's funny because i still like have like a very long list of shoes that i want from the last year or so. Mm -hmm. And I always kind of keep like a, I I pretty much use eBay as a like wish list for my shoes, right? I add everything to a save, a Mm -hmm. a search for saves uh, or save searches. And then I just kind of add to it as things go. And each time I search for that new thing, I just add it to that list. So I never end up spending the, the like actual price that you see on a stock X or goat because I always am looking at that list. That's, you know, you know, it's like, it's, it's simple, but it's like the easiest way to save money. Right. It's just, yeah, it's easiest yeah. way to yeah. save money on shoes though. Right. Because you could go to eBay and shift to say ending, ending now or lowest price now, and you'll be able to pick up things 
you know, for a ridiculous price compared to what they are, because somebody just needs the money or worn something at once or twice. Yeah. And like, I, I love all that. Cause I mean, I, I have plenty of shoes that I've worn once or twice that I, I would be willing to let go of, but you know, they look almost new, but I wouldn't sell them as new. Right. So yeah. But yeah. anyway, that's my first, first one on the list. What's up? What's up next you for you, Robbie? You know what? So I guess before I dive into another particular shoe, um, it's funny you say not trying to have old tech and like all of mine are retros except for one shoe. Like th there was some in there that, that almost made the cut, like the LeBron 17 white man can't jump. I picked those up. I really like those. Oh, that's and that's new tech. Yeah. I like that um, one too. The LeBron mm -hmm. 18. I don't have it yet, but just, it came out this year and I really like the eight, what the 18 is yeah. doing. Um, so, I mean, to go really old tech, to kind of flip side that one more time, I brought up in a couple episodes ago how I never bought a pair of Reebok Club C's. And I was like, you know, I'm just going to stop playing myself. Literally the next day, the homie Jason posted 50% off Reebok coupon on his Instagram. So I was like, yeah. okay, I'm going to go buy a pair of Club C's. I got them for $37. And we've spoken about less than $40 shoes. So I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to go buy... And they're like the vintage wear, so they're not really white. They kind of look old. It's going to be really good for like wintertime wears here. So I quit playing myself, and I just bought a pair of Club C's. So those are on there for me. But um, I'm going to go ahead and keep the Reebok train going. And I'm going to excuse Pikachu. I realized <laughs> on the viewing of our last episode, I fiddle with my hands a lot. So, like don't, so I don't pick my nose. I'm just going to like play with things. <laughs> so it's just like, I'm going to do that. So I'm also going to make it rain on you uh, with the Kamikaze 2. Uh, this is specifically a shoe of 2020 for me because I would have never thought I bought it, I would buy a Kamikaze 2, but I've been seeing this shoe since it came out <laughs> from cards to movies, to TV, <laughs> people on the playground. Uh, when I When I got these in from Reebok, I posted it online. And my sister, who is eight years older than me, said this was the team shoe at the middle school we both went to, and she went there. So, like, that's just how. That's awesome. And she doesn't yeah. give Everywhere. crap about shoes. She does not <laughs> care about shoes. So the fact that she could see, yeah, she could see this and be like, "I saw that freaking twenty something years ago." Like, I know exactly what that shoe is. This yeah, speaks to dope. the power of the of the common. What a dope team shoe. shoe. Right. I mean, that's just 90 stuff. That's just like, yeah. that's why all the old heads love retro, like 96, I believe this came out, love retro products like this because there wasn't team bank stuff. It was everybody mm -hmm. go buy this damn shoe and <laughs> we're yeah. all going to go buy yeah. the same shoe and, and we're all going to look, look like Sean Kemp at the same time. And we're all going to be doing layups because we're in the white suburbs. <laughs> Chest pass. But it's Chess just... <laughs> But I mean, like, I could have gone with like a million other Reeboks. I wanted to include one here, not because I feel forced to, but just because the brand love from them and the fact that once they were in my hands, like, y you can have a change of mind on things. So, on top of all that, all those reasons why I just I just said the shoe's damn comfortable, and I've brought that up a couple times. Like, this is a warrior. Like, you want to go, you know, cause ruckus. Um, FSU, fuck shit up. You want to go like FSU in this shoe? This is like the right shoe to go do it in. Like it can take a pounding. The hex light, I mean, it's there. Like it's not the most springy thing in the world. It's going on thirty years old, but like it works. It just works. And so it's, it's a step above the Black Air Force One, is what I'm hearing. Man, so like. <laughs> I, the Black Air Force One came in like a lot of just like black shoes can't compete with this, and a lot of them don't want. No, no, to no. I'm because... talking about doing hood activity. Like that's like, oh, hey, hood I started here, but now a little bit more advanced. I can like get some extra movements in with the hex alive. Oh, oh, heck yeah, man! Like <laughs> I, I can jump, I can jump over a wall so fast in these. <laughs> now, see the kidding. black the so... Black Air Force One is 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 like perfect because you can go do all the FSU. But then you could still go to the job at the restaurant at Walmart, whatever. <laughs> the, kama, the kamikaze, you can't go to work in that shoe, right? You, you it's a, it's a strictly FSU shoe. <laughs> you hear the cops on the patrol. To the point. We have, 
we got this hoodlum and Sean Kemp's going down <laughs> um, Rodeo. Yeah. So it's ditch like, the shoes. Ditch the shoes. If you want to not be recognized, don't wear this shoe. <laughs> yeah. But um, but I mean, just like it's a fun conversation, right? It's it's ninety six was probably we talk about NBA draft classes, like oh wait, Kobe's draft class was it eighty four for Michael Jordan, um, stuff like that. Like, oh, who's the, what's the greatest draft class? Like, 96 might be the best shoe draft class of all time. Mm. So just That's an one piece one. of that yeah, puzzle. we might have to revisit that. I like that thought. I like that thought. Yeah, let's let's yeah. write that one down. I think one it's actually super cool, too, that your that your sister recognized it because it it was that was how it worked, right? Like, you just got the, the – everybody bought the same shoe. But the cool the coolest schools were the ones that, like, ordered as a team – from East Bay and got like the blue kamikaze, you know, the black and blue kamikazes or the Navy and white or whatever. Like it was always <laughs> crazy when you saw like something that you knew you couldn't buy in a store and the team had to order it from East Bay. But yeah, I, 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 uh, yeah. I actually almost regret not I, like, I would probably add that shoe to my list after seeing it too, because it's just, one I'm, of not those to, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to hurt you, Nick. I'm not trying to hurt you, but that discount code, I'm pretty sure, still works. Yeah, and I think it's you good. Can get the, you can get the white right. pair. You can get the white pair for like 60 bucks. The white with okay. the green on the back for like 60 bucks. Don't be hurting me. As, as I always say, that's only 320s, which is only 610s. So it's like, <laughs> not a big deal. But yeah, that, that's my second one. What about you, Michelangelo? You know what? Yeah, I'm going to keep yeah, this re- Reebok train going. But I have to say, I am... How 2020 has changed Robbie from I will never wear Reebok to I, I'm gonna call you a bot right. boy in 2020, man. Like I'm just saying, like No, nah, there's a lot of Nike here. So, I mean, <laughs> still, but All right, I'm, well, uh, I pull the bot card every now and again. You know, you like you flip cards. Sometimes you get an ace. <laughs> sometimes you get a spade. Sometimes the bot card comes card. out of the closet. Well, keeping up with that same Reebok thought, I got my red toe uh 25th anniversary questions shout out to the people at reebok for sending these over i mean i'm trying to get like nick with my question collection because the, the man's a legend with what he has in his closet but uh i really i'm looking at these now i've been wearing them so much i have to like clean them once a week because i i'm all i'm always in them like i don't even i just factory laces so i can throw my foot in it like <laughs> just right into it um but yeah man i i got a few questions this year and um, again, like I say, thank you to the guys over at the Reebok team. But I was going to buy this regardless. Like, it didn't matter. Like, this is one of my favorite shoes. Um, that a trick is just keeping it clean. I'm looking at a bunch of brown spots in this bad boy right now. But I'll wear my shoes. What you want? Like, <laughs> It's the questions. What is the question? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I mean, obviously one of my favorite shoes of all time. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, I had to take a drink because my lips were getting a little salty. I didn't want to say some mean, mean <laughs> shit. So uh, you know, uh, that, that's, that's still going to be that's still going to be on the list. The, pro- the problem for me with questions is even though I didn't pick up a lot of these this or any of these in this last year, uh, you know, I, I always I always like them. I always want them, but I also don't wear all mm-hmm. of mine as it is. So I feel like, do I really need to keep buying all these? Um, Yes. No, but <laughs> I, I mean, it, yeah, like some of them, like it's always good to have like the, the classic colorways, right? Like that colorway is just perfect to me. The blue toes, perfect to me. My, mm-hmm. like one of my absolute favorites is the all white lows. Um, yeah, like th- there's a ton of them that I love, but, um, yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice, I- I'm jealous. Yeah, I'm jealous. <laughs> and, and, and I know Robbie got a pair too. I'm just like, Man, what am I doing? You know, like that. You had to wait to go. <laughs> now, just you know, that Laker pair that can end my year. I'm solid. Like I'm, I'm cool. I can, I can end 2020 on on a good note. Yeah. Mike's the yeah. real base god of Reebok, though, because he gets stuff <laughs> I don't get. So, I mean, he he just starts off the show with like, yeah, Reebok hooked me up. Uh, you know, every every episode I mean, basically. <laughs> <laughs> 
Got to got to show because, love because to you and I did me. It's because you and I didn't do the YouTube thing, Robbie. We got to get on the YouTube. Thing. <laughs> People care about us again. <laughs> well, look what we're doing. <laughs> Love us, please. Exhibit A, though, we're on YouTube. Right <laughs> but no, I mean, uh, um, I'm, I got some stuff here in a 13 that I, I know the sneaker gods would be right if I sent one of them to Nick at some point. So don't yeah. don't you worry. Something will come at some point. <laughs> I'm, right, not com- right. I'm not committing to any names. Yeah. <laughs> the colorways, but there's going to there's going to be a time where I go through a purge and I'm going to be like, I would feel dirty selling these. I just need to give them to Nick. So it, it, it'll happen. Or maybe we just got to get Nick on the mailing list. Because, I mean, you're more deserving of it than I am. I mean, I love it. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. But like, God, like... No, it's, it, I, I, love, I love that you guys are getting stuff, man. It's, it's, it's literally like the, the best thing because I just appreciate you guys helping me with, with sneaker history and keeping this podcast going. Because obviously, Robbie knows even further back, like it just, it's been tough for me to balance working in this world and doing this stuff outside of it. But I mean, not to like harp on the Patreon and discord, but I, uh, I, you know, I'm so thankful for all these people that are supporting us and, you know, encouraging us to do more and asking us to do more. And we've had those conversations where, you know, you don't always recognize it. Like, Hey, we're the escape for some of these folks that are, that are dealing with going to work right now or, you know, just all of the 2020 things. So I'm just thankful that you guys at least get, you know, to, to enjoy some of the things that I've gotten to enjoy about this sneaker world. So I think it's dope. All right. So before we get more sentimental uh, and I get all teary eyed, (laughs) although this shoe might get me teary eyed anyway, because uh, this is my next choice. Uh, ZX 8000. I've wanted this colorway forever. I actually uh, have, um, I have a ton of ZX 8000s. I should actually break them Pull out it up and, more. Give us a better look a at it. Let the world see it. So this is the, yeah. this is the original colorway, uh, like the aquas as they are known. But I can't remember yeah. if this technically released at the end of 2019 or if it was early 2020. It's really close. But this particular colorway uh, is just like something that I've always wanted to have. I remember it coming out when I was younger. And wasn't really into like the solid color shoes at the time when I was a kid um, or, you know, non-black, non-white type solid color shoes. But I think it was really dope that they threw boost in this, right? It's not anywhere mm-hmm. on the shoe. Like it's not exposed boost in any way, but um, we'll link to the video. I forget what store cut o- cut open their pairs of this when they came out. And basically yeah. showed that like the whole the whole inside of this of the midsole is is boost. So I'm excited to actually have them and wear them. And I mean, this will definitely become a, a regular for me. Nick, you barely made it. It came out January 3rd, 2020. The pair I got was the night uh, the consortium, which is a beat up looking pair, was the one that was night uh, 2019. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, it just it's just such a it's such a good shoe. I mean, I just. The only thing I would say about the ZX 8000s and a lot of the ZX line, anything torsion from Adidas for me tends to be right on the edge of like, is this too narrow or not? So Mm. inevitably, I just like keep them unlaced just like I would Air Max 90s and I'm chilling. Yo, shorts, a hoodie and some runners. That's 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 the new fit. That's my not new. That's like my like go to fit. But so, how do you wear I mean, this, Nick? These don't go with your colors. To me, because yeah, I say either purple, and I mean, black, or orange. Contrary and black. to popular, yeah, contrary to popular belief, I don't only wear the same colors. Look, I got a red, <laughs> I got, I got a red Scottsdale Scorpions logo on right now. So, um, see, I called yeah. it bright orange. I was like, it must be a hot orange. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got to keep, I got to mix it up. You, you know, like I, I go through phases. So sometimes I'll be like into, into like the same old, same old. And then I have some shoes that are just cra- wild, crazy colors because I just like feel like it's saying, like, fuck God. it. I just want to wear something that's crazy. Right. So there you go. All right. Sorry, Robbie. I'm holding, I'm holding things up. What's, what's the next <laughs> one for you? No, you're good. You're good. Um, it's just on the runner's tip because. 
my next one is a runner historically like i don't put i i, I don't wear chains to the grocery store I, I don't put jordans on to go do mundane things typically is is the analogy i was making to the chains it's like i, I don't get dressed up to go do crap like I, i'm definitely the type of sneakerhead who has just like I guess kind of like you, Nick, but um, I try every year to be better and better about putting shoes away. But my, my, my first go-to in the section is a running shoe. So like, I had to go with the Diodora Volo. I mean, they gave this to me, so that's that's a really cool part. But that's like the opposite reason why it's on my list. It legitimately is just like what I loved about like the the Lunar Flies and the Lunar Glides and all of those like funky 2008 2012 nike running shoes um the the fly the one that j just had the strap across the fly something it said just do it across the strap do you know what i'm talking about yeah. had a lunar midsole mm -hmm. i had like four of those i got them from freaking ross for nothing so nice. like, i i love wearing those kind of just like slide on go but still be a supportive like good shoe and the mythos volo is all that it has like this kind of I, I I equate it to old Nike tech. I know it's not, but just like this kind of like perforated synthetic material here always reminds me of this like old lunar stuff from Nike. And those are like my favorite yeah. everyday shoes ever. So like the Volo brings back those vibes, but just with the more modernized, I guess, tech layout, because you have a big old thick midsole here, the big old rise on it. Um ortholite on the insole that's really comfortable mm. um you got blue shield tech which is like kind of like diodora's uh kind of like their hex light it kind of looks like hex light but the colorway is clean it's called almond milk they did a partnership with dead stock coffee in town um just really cool man it's like you don't see this kind of like i know yeezy tries to do colors like this all the time but this is just like a really clean like I've, I've probably worn these 10 times since having them just because I could slide them on, go pick up groceries and come back and they're just clean as hell. So this is more akin. I have a lot of cool shoes. I wear a lot of cool shoes. Not that this is not a cool shoe, but this is not a difficult shoe to acquire. There's nothing really special about it other than just like it looks damn good and I can throw it on to walk a dog if I had one. I'm the dog being walked. So it's like... <laughs> So it's like when, when I get walked, I, I, I wear those. But it's just like I would have never messed with them. Diodora is an Italian brand. I'm Italian. There's there's cool parts there. But just of all the Diodoras I've gotten, I've, I've had a couple other Mythos this year to like run in. And those are cool. Yeah. But those don't have like a lifestyle vibe to it. These didn't mean to have a lifestyle vibe to it. But if it's a good design's going to work on pavement or the gym, right? So it's yeah. like you don't always have to strive to have something like, all right, I'm going to design something that's for the lifestyle sector, but can also perform. Or I'm going to make a performance shoe that also can look good with jeans. Just make your performance shoe. And if you did it right, people are going to wear it when they're not performing. So, Yeah. That's right, man. Those are good. I like that. As soon as the pictures came out of those, when you, uh, when you put them up, that color is just awesome. And it, and it goes well on that, that silhouette. So I think that's a awesome everyday wear. I don't drink from the udder anymore. So like the almond milk fits into my lifestyle too. I actually, I actually <laughs> like that, 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 I mean, I, I'm, I'm the same way. I'm a, I'm a almond milk all the way, maybe oat milk yeah. occasionally. If I feel same. like I'm oat, really bougie. Oat but, milk wins. We only keep oat milk in the crib. I guess I'm bougie, but just oh, dang, wow, wow. fancy wow. lifestyles of Robbie. It's delicious. Wow, the, the, the wealth that just, you could just feel the wealth, the wealth in the air. <laughs> Catch me on sale. <laughs> Catch me on sale two like yeah. two eighty. Get the coupon that ready. Let's go. No, but I I think <laughs> I think I that colorway is dope because you don't see that kind of off white. N not the brand, obviously. That like off white. Well, color guess I'll go next, the, and I will the, say the performance that running shoe. Like I have no more running, running shoes in my collection. It is all basketball shoes, and next one's gonna be the Jordan One, the COJP. In the metallic silver or neutral gray, whatever color you want to call it. <laughs> hey, you know, 
in, in, the, in the words of the most interesting man in the world, you know, I don't always win. <laughs> it's it's one too much I fire. I, I can't handle so, it. <laughs> um, yeah, this is my one Jordan one pickup of the year. And God dang. Uh, see, because I try to wear everything in my collection at, at all times possible, I wear like the most hobo looking sweatpants, a, a basketball jersey, and go to the store. And I just pick it up. I'm putting these on. They don't match. But God dang it, I'm wearing them today. And these have gotten... No, no, no. You're right. Yeah, it was like definitely. I got to you know, pump Mike's brakes. Working, making connections. I got, I got to, to hype you up. You got those. I'll put my dudes in, in, this, in this little sneaker world we like in. So I mean, grateful to the guys over at Lee Baron for, it's true, for it's true. saving the pair for me because God knows I was not getting a pair through any other means. So <laughs> I appreciate them. And yeah, man, this is definitely one of my favorite shoes of the year. You got the Navies, didn't you? Yeah. I think I would trade in my how, other how three like Jordan so 1 far? pickups for that one. I love that shoe, man. The- I got the Navies, yeah, so- <laughs> the Biohacks, and the Mochas. So, but I haven't worn them yet. I put the pink, I put some hot pink laces yeah, in. Yeah, I got laces everywhere. I, f- I forgot where I got the pink laces from. I'm sure you two have something like this too, but I have a big old <laughs> gallon, like a big old Ziploc just full of laces. Like any <laughs> shoe that comes in that has more than one. No, see, I had them everywhere too. I put them in one bag, so I just I go through Next. there. And I'm just like, okay, this would look cool, or this would look cool. But it's it's awesome. Right, I Nick. never have to worry if I spill something on the laces. I got I got like eighteen pairs of white laces. <laughs> yeah, yep. <laughs> they never fit in the shoe box. All right, so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna mix it up a little bit because my next pick is. Uh, a running shoe, but not sh- a shoe that I got. And there's actually two running shoes that I really, really want. And eventually I'll get them, but they're stupid expensive. Ooh. So the f- first one, probably yeah. everybody that's listening knows the shoe is the Air Zoom Alpha Fly Next. Uh, I mean, it's just crazy. It's right? somewhere Zoom up there. X and double stack Zoom. And I just want to try it out. Um, but I am not willing to spend 270 200 290 270 whatever it was it was way too expensive for me so i passed on it i'm not i'm not on that wear testers level yet but Mm. um the second choice in that in that kind of genre of like performance running shoes Saucony endorphin pro uh drew from wear testers did a really good review on it and uh i just i really like the style of the shoe the original colorway is super dope it's like white and greenish tealish um, but then there's also an orange colorway. So what can I say? That's probably the one I would get, but haven't, haven't added it to the, to the collection yet, but nice. both those shoes will be nice. on my feet at some point in the next 12 months. And I'm going to actually be running in them. So I'm super stoked, uh, for both those. I think that the thing that's really interesting about that, right. The endorphin pro is, a uh, a shoe that didn't, uh, you know, it didn't have like visible tech in the same way that we see it on Alpha Flies or any of the other yeah. runners, but it has the same kind of carbon fiber shank plate that's like a almost like cantilever, you know, where there's a whole thing in running right now still that's like, can people run in this? Is it giving them too much of an advantage? And frankly, I need all the advantages I can get when I run because, uh, you know, I need, I just need it. So, both of those, I, it's kind of a tie, right? Like I'd love to have both of them. Uh, I don't want to spend three hundred dollars on a pair of shoes. So if anybody has a, a plug, that's, for that's a great currency. Either do it. Size thirteen. I'll uh, I'll trade you. Uh-oh. I'll trade you sneaker history. Push it right here. Push your man. What's that? I can get it for you. <laughs> I can get you them. A... <laughs> I got you. <laughs> we can we can find something out. I can, I can I can get those for you. <laughs> How much you need? How much you need? <laughs> Buy two, get a third shoe free. You need one shoe. You need two shoes. Do you need three shoes? Do you need a third one? It's yeah. a third, a, a second left, for no reason. <laughs> now, I mean, it's funny you say that, Nick, because I wanted to, like, have an on shoe be on my top five, but like, they're great. There's no amount of tech in the world though who can make 
my slow ass fast. So it's just like their cloud, their cloud boom is a great shoe. If 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 you're a runner and you're about that like, but less, you know, you took someone that's slow life, off. Go buy a pair on cloud booms. They just make me feel less slow. Slow is still the <laughs> additive word there. So it, it, yeah, less, yeah, less, exactly, exactly. But still very slow. I mean. <laughs> Especially when I see other people like post like, <laughs> there and power to them, keep posting your, car your run splits and how far you run. <laughs> it's like the how far you run, cool. I could run that far too. Then I see the speed and I'm like, damn, I'm like, okay, we are on. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like it's like seeing it's like seeing a gazelle run by and then you're a three-legged uh, moose, three-legged and you're just like, damn, <laughs> like I, I can do the same thing you're doing. Like it's gonna just take me a little, a, a lot bit longer than it took you to do it. Um, dude, three-legged moose. Um, I have like I took way more than five out of the closet just to like think about. But this next one here, Ooh. I have to give an honorable mention to the Chuck ninety. Never owned a pair of Converse's, and Chuck nineties are super cool. That's one word. Um, I got to go with another orange, man. Orange, just the damn theme. Um, the Rucker Park Air Force One <laughs> Row. Again, I always think back to the MTV Cribs where Red Man's talking about his Lexus. And it's like, this is not a difficult car to acquire. But once you acquire it, it's something different, something like that. But he keeps talking about how like it's not a difficult thing to acquire. This is not a difficult shoe to acquire at all. Um, another shoe I paid damn full price on too. (laughs) Um, so I have this thing (laughs) where shoes like this, I'll be like, oh, I can get somebody I know with a swoosh account to buy me this. Like, this is not going to sell out. And then it kept selling out every time. So like the last time I saw it restock on Nike, I was like, all right, I've, I've lost that bet twice already. Like I'm just going to pay the hundred, 110, whatever it was, but haven't worn them yet. I've been waiting for the right time, but it's just a cool, it's a cool memento to Kobe without being, without saying Kobe. Um, if anybody knows their worth in salt, I said that hella wrong. If anybody knows anything about basketball, they know what Kobe mm-hmm. Bryant. And I, I have to put Kevin Durant in that same sentence. Cause I want to say Kevin Durant's Rucker performance was just as legendary as Kobe's. Just Kobe happens to not be with us anymore. But Kobe's Rucker Park, just rolling up. He's like, fuck it. Like, we're hooping. Like, I didn't come here just to like watch. Like, I'm hooping. So laced up some Air Force Ones, not the same shoe, and his orange Rucker Park jersey. And did the kind of thing that I think if any of us were, <laughs> even as adults, but if we were a kid, yes. he was like, yo, at the park, Kobe Bryant's playing. Like, chess no basketball he's like basketball like I, I, like you would lose it yeah. um damian lillard does stuff like that it's, he doesn't go and hoop in the park but dame will go and just like show up at a park and like give stuff out and like you know how cool that is for just like somebody like oh shit damian lillard's like on my block like that's so cool like there's a million yeah. angles i could take with a kobe story there but that's the angle i'm going with just like your idol yeah he, he's in new york he's not your idol but nba superstar <laughs> NBA champion who had just won that past summer, like yep. not worried about um, load managing, not worried about what's going to happen to his ankle and playing in Air Force mids. Right, and he's yeah. just like, nah, like we're, we're going to ball. And I think that's the best yeah. part of it is the little basketball. Aglet, right? Aglet's the word. No, Dubray. Yeah, yeah Dubray. Dubray. Yeah. yeah, Aglet's yeah. the end of the shoelace. But just like, man. So, so I, think, I think that's a super dope pick. Also, because uh, there was a flight eighty nine in that pack that has that same same vibe to it, the Rucker Park zip. Uh, but one of the things you said, I think, like I'm just going to put it out into the universe That'd because be I want to be able to just roll up to like a park and give away dozens of shoes one day. Like I want to be able to like create some experience with a partner that can say, "Hey, we're going to go to." the New York city marathon and we're going to give 50 pairs of shoes to people on the sidelines and say, we're giving you these so you can participate next year. 
yeah. and like work with them to train and do all that stuff. I just think it would be so like, that's like my end goal with all this stuff is to, to really just be able to just give back in, in crazy ways with, you know, the support of brands and stuff like that. So that's a, that's mm -hmm. a, I think I always think of that moment with Kobe. And like you said, Durant's a good, good with that. Steph Curry is great with that. Nipsey was doing that, like with like the Puma stuff when he signed his deal with Nipsey and or with Puma in LA before he passed. And I mean, yeah. to me, that's like, almost like a, a, a sign of greatness, right? A lot of these guys do this stuff and then don't even get publicity out of it. Mm -hmm. But yet somebody snaps a picture yep. and next thing you yep, know, yep, yep. No, you realize awesome, that, hey, like, this dude's, I keep looking, this dude's your idol on the court. Me, He's like, also your idol off the court too. I'm going to end up buying these. I keep finding them in my size. You know, they're 110 bucks. I'm like, mm, don't do it. I have to like literally just exit out the browser so I don't just click the button. <laughs> I, I know. So, like, la, la, la. so the tongue being mesh makes <laughs> no. It, it makes a huge difference. I'm I'm trying to sell it to you, obviously, but like, well, let me tell you about this mesh. <laughs> uh, it just it makes it way more comfortable. I I tried the other one on. This one's still like factory lace. So like, I'm like, oh, this guy's lying to me. Um, the other ones been tried on, but yeah, well, and. And look at the next many, month. We can go into if the, I have the, the why. Air Force Ones one day. But like, all this right. Makes so, a world of difference. I jump into my next shoe. And this is one that I, Pikachu. you know, hope to chase down during my experience during All Star Weekend, which I was lucky <laughs> enough to get to go to uh, before the world shut down. So that was an awesome experience. Uh, I got to hang out with the guys over at Wear Testers, some other, some other guys from some different channels and, and outlets as well. And uh, I went there just all like starry eyed like oh i'm gonna be able to get you know og jordan retros i get the you know whatever whatever get the, the yeezys that come out and all was a lie i don't care if you're there it was a lie you weren't getting them and but you know a few months down the line able to get my hands on something you know a little under retail as well so i got the yeezy quantums i actually just got these in uh last week got them for under retail so i'm happy that a, I didn't have to chase down a truck in the, uh, in the in the tundra with millions of other people. Uh, B, I didn't have to pay resale. And I'm happy people don't like them anymore because the hype is gone. But I am super, super excited to have these. I mean, this is the lifestyle model of the Yeezy Quantum, so it doesn't have the TPU cage on it. But, I mean, putting it on, I think it plays something just like the BYW uh, X with the Prime Knit. It seems like it actually performed really, really well on court. It actually fits like one to one. You would think all oh, this is extra space in the shoe, but it actually hugs your foot really well and actually constructed well, considering Kanye has nothing to do with basketball. So this is definitely one of my favorite pickups, and again, something I waited patiently for for almost a year to get my hands on, and I couldn't be happier to have it. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's a polarizing shoe still because like i i see you post some pictures of it and i'm like i like it and then i see it from another angle and I'm like i don't like it yeah, so like, it, it goes yep it goes both ways but like that's what's cool i mean <laughs> if you're not doing what's that about design if you're, if you're not making somebody feel some kind of way about it <laughs> so i feel some kind of way when i see it but see rotate it a little bit yeah no i can see that i like it well, I, I don't like it. A, a little more, I like it. It changes that fast. See, I I, I like it a lot, but <laughs> I, I can't I can't I can't do the Kanye shoes in, in this in this economy. No way. Like money wise, politics wise, me and Kanye are not on the same page. And Wex is not at Adidas. I mean, I still have a couple friends there. I love you guys, but oh, I buy this and I don't. I don't want to support Kanye. Dude, until it's he worth it. Like I said, I didn't. Figures out I wasn't buying the retail or, or and, anything above know. retail, so ended up. Uh, having but a little, I actually little really, little really, really like that shoe. Little under retail as well, and I think I paid out of pocket ninety bucks. I was like, "Cool, I'm out." So, only reason I bought them because they, yeah, if it's sitting at two hundred plus dollars, they're gonna stay there. All right.
So uh, my next choice is not something that I have yet. And it's also not something that we talked about on any of the podcasts, which I'm kind of disappointed in myself for not bringing it up because I never, I never really saw it. But in my last week plus mm -hmm. of uh, being stuck on the couch, I came across the A6 yeah. Gel Light 30, the A A6 Gel Light XXX, which is like a, like a weird hybrid of the Gel Light 3. Um, that shoe is super dope. There's a couple of colorways. I went down a rabbit hole. <laughs> it's a late comer. Like if, if, if this was a horse race to the end of the year, like is yeah. like the the come from behind star for me because I totally did not see it. I didn't expect it. And yet like I saw like the Tokyo pack, I think there's two different Tokyo versions and both of them are just like, sign me up. How do I get those? So, <laughs> yeah, the white and black um, Tokyo pair. I really I'll like be, that uh, one. I'll be getting those soon. It's hopefully. a good, no, I'll be saying I didn't no. buy them yet. I like them. They'll be here at some point very soon, I'm sure. <laughs> that's my, that's my next pick. Nope. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's it's it's. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think it's. I think I'm looking at the Tokyo pair. It has like lines right. and stripes going through the outsole. I mean, the midsole. Yep, man, that's one discombobulated shoe. That's, that's why I like it. It's that, just funky. That shoe's having an identity crisis. But that's also why I don't feel a lot of like the ISP acronyms ISP, everywhere. That's um, Tom Sachs. Um, no, I, yeah, it is ISPA. R yeah. ISRU is Tom Sachs. So many, yeah, whatever. But like that's why I don't like yeah acronyms everywhere. Um, I don't like that. Like I like cohesiveness. That's why the Waffle Racer. <laughs> I didn't pick it up because I don't like the shoe. But like the Sakai Waffle Racer stuff, like miss me with all of that. So it just looks like slap it. And, and I know that's not what happened. I completely know that's not what happened. And it didn't happen here with the Joe Light 30, XXX, whatever. Um, it's just, it's, it's, that's, that's not an aesthetic for me, personally. That's fair. It's, it's definitely not something I expected to like, because I don't like the Sakai stuff near as much as everybody else. I don't think it's yeah. like, like ugly or anything, but it's definitely not something that I would oh. ever see myself buying unless it was like super discounted. But that, that ASICS one is just funky enough. Let me, let me riddle you this just because we are kind of on that Sakai topic. So Jeremy Scott's were the bomb for a hot minute. And those were really like out there designs. These Sakai stuff with, you know, three different midsoles and multiple stitching, like all that kind of stuff. Is that going to like, do you think, 10 years from now, we're going to look back like, damn, what were we no, on? I don't think we will look back three. that it's like harshly because Jeremy Scott was like, having teddy bears. Are we going to look back like we wings look at Jeremy Scott's now? Where it's like, what, what well, was, I, I, again, why? I'm in the same boat as you guys. I think I like the Vapor Waffles better than the first Sakai's just because they're a little bit more, you know, streamlined. But I, I think, yeah, but I think people are going to look back at this and be like, oh, that was a fashion shoe because a lot of these were like runway design. Models, I feel like. Yeah, I agree. So, so I, I actually think the Jeremy Scott stuff was pretty cool. Like, I have a pair of the mm -hmm. wings. Um, I mean, most people didn't take the, the wings off, but, and I didn't. I, I just, the only one that I ended up buying was like the denim pair. But I thought it was cool that all those shoes that he did were just so crazy because they also either, either they were done because everything else at the time was crazy or he helped set that yeah. trend, which is like I would probably lean towards the latter. Because if you think of the shoes that were coming out then, you know, like the super sky top and stuff like that, everything was that mm -hmm. like whole pop tongue. Um, I don't know if, if you guys remember. Kanye yeah. was wearing those Auto Matsumotos back in the day, those red, like super crazy, yeah. like almost like dress sneakers, right? And those were everywhere. And I think that just speaks to like, you know, Jeremy Scott, like just, I mean, he's definitely a, a unique yeah. individual, but like the shoes that he was coming out with were also like pushing, 
it was in line with, with the styles, but it was like, how far can we go with this? Yeah. And I think to a certain extent, you know, like he made like even just having the wings, right? The wings, I think, were the most popular of all of his his designs. But I think that probably was one of Adidas most successful silhouettes during that era. And to me, it just it almost made it OK for shoes like the J Balvin <laughs> or like yeah. zip ties on the off whites and all these like weird things that we see now, because we already saw the extremity of what weird was going to be from him. So I don't know. Like, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know that you would ever look at something and be like, damn, I really want to wear those, you know, wings again, or maybe the same thing with these gel light thirties. Like maybe they're just weird. Maybe the Sakai's are the same way 10, 20 years from now, but we, we haven't really lived through an era where things got really extreme, right? Like basketball shoes got extremely yeah. high. You got the crazy pumps or the command forces or whatever, where it was like, whoa, this is nuts. But that also became like a retro yeah. style that everybody likes. So I don't know. It's It'll be interesting to see. That's a great question. Yep. I only bring up the that finale. comparison between those two because they're both designers. So time, time will have to tell. So this is number five, I believe, right? This is, uh, this is the last one. Yep. And, and um, I need to go on my uh, Scrooge McDuck here and talk about like why you <laughs> need to learn the lesson at the end of that movie. The, the lesson of appreciating uh, it's a Christmas Carol, Charles Dickens, AKA Scrooge McDuck. Cause the Donald Duck <laughs> version is a million times better. Um, but like it goes through a whole lesson of this, like, understanding what you have and being thankful for what you, you know, you have and everything. So the DMP six embodies that and it's Christmas time. That's why I thought of that Scrooge McDuck, but I've brought it up multiple times throughout the year of how I look in the closet sometimes I'm like, damn, okay. I have every Jordan 11 colorway I've ever wanted. Like mm-hmm. let's stop and smell the roses really quick. So like when this shoe came out, a lot of us, I think all three of us were initially excited. A lot of people were excited for this shoe, but then like a lot of people didn't buy it. So <laughs> I got this on a restock, I think from like foot action or finish line on like a Tuesday morning, a month after the release. It was not, it was just, uh, it was a, not a difficult shoe to acquire. So I think back to me graduating in 2008 and seeing a kid wearing these over the past like two years. And then I think about, um, I can't even think about what rap, I mean, it's like, I've seen people wear this shoe. I've seen this shoe on soul collector when I was reading soul collector in a dorm room. Like I have seen this shoe and the DMP six, I mean the 11 <laughs> so many times and like seeing the prices fluctuate so hard and seeing it go from like an ultimate grail to, Oh, that's a GR now. Fuck that shoe. Like, <laughs> it's like it's all like ebbed and flowed but like the little like the the teenager in me sees this and they're unworn i haven't i mean they've been sitting in the closet since since april so i'm telling the story haven't even worn them yet but um like i just look at them and i'm like i thought about this shoe like, i never thought i'd be into sneakers uh. long enough to acquire this shoe i never thought i would have enough money because in my brain i'm thinking <laughs> oh that shoe is like seven hundred dollars at the at the time i'm looking at it six hundred dollars like i'm never gonna have the money they're never gonna retro that i'm never gonna have the money for this like it's never gonna happen and like that's that's what's cool about being an older collector or guess a more seasoned collector is Mm -hmm. like your grails don't have to be a three thousand stock shoe like your grail can be just something that was limited like sure this was not easy to acquire when it came out but like it also didn't have the feverish fan base around it. So it was easier realistically in a sense. So like thinking back to when this shoe, like the DMP six was many, many people like (laughs) grail. Like this is like, this is the end all be all. Like you like Jordan sixes, like this is your infrared on crack. Like it's, it's everything. Mm. That's why, that's why I had to put it on the list because I mean, you can't wear Durabuck in portland this time of year it's just gonna get all rained on so i I realistically i've gone through this conversation with my bordeaux i'll never get rid of either one but i don't know when i'm gonna wear it (laughs) it's like i don't know it's not a summer shoe it has to just be like a really dry winter day 
but like yeah. sit back think about your 2020 list not in a terms of oh i got this shoe and it's now worth 500 dollars more than what i paid for <laughs> that's super cool be stoked about your money but also be stoked <laughs> on the shoe oh. you forgot you bought like i honestly forgot i, I, I had this <laughs> And, but then I looked at it again and I'm like, oh, like all these like <laughs> really important reasons why I like it. Like, oh, this is really cool. But like sit back, look in your closet and think, all right, I didn't I might not get the car mines in 2021. But you know what? I didn't think I would have these. You know, there's some kind of weird correlation. There's any model you can think of, any any brand you can think of. There's something in your closet where you're like me 10 years ago didn't think i would have this shoe and now it sits idly this was on the bottom of the pile and like the back storage law <laughs> so it's like it sits idly in the back waiting for its moment but you have it now so 18 year old robbie can eat his heart out but you can't realize it until you do some self-reflection so go reflect go be thankful i know thanksgiving's over i know 2020 has sucked mm -hmm. but if you got a pair of shoes like Nick, you said the infrared 90s, a top five shoe of all time. A lot of people are jaded by that shoe. A lot of people don't care. A lot. Of, it doesn't matter because in your life, like you got a pair of shoes this year that are in your top five. Like these fell out yeah. of my grail list. Like before I knew these were coming out, I probably hadn't thought about them in a very long time. But yeah. when I see them, I think specifically to being like, damn, those are DMP sixes. Like I'm never like this being like in the zone I mean, so it's like that's a, that's a perfect transition to my my final shoe my think about i guess if i had to rank them all you know this is still getting number one in the group because this is my grill uh just like robbie is one of the shoes i wanted to get my hands on but i couldn't at the time when it originally released because i didn't have the money for it i was still a student so it was like man i'm just trying to make it and lo and behold 2020 comes around and they actually retro and got my lebron sevens in the also a color and um yeah man i've, I've wanted a good amount but i had to put it away because i didn't want to kill it so it's like let me let me put this back in the box for a while so i can just let it let it live and have it for as long as i can but i thoroughly enjoyed this shoe as soon as i got it um i'm happy because i got it for retail i didn't have to go out like spending x amount of dollars because i was this close be because i didn't think i was gonna actually have a chance on the retro to buy one of the older pairs ahead of time and would have spent well couple hundred dollars more so i'm super happy that i actually have it in my collection again was this 2010 i can't remember 2010 yeah yeah 2010 i was in college and like i just it's 2010 can look yeah. at them from that, you know whatever was, sneaker website looking at them like drooling over them as i saw them it's like well can't have them then but hey 10 years later i'm not complaining so this will this will top out my year. <laughs> Love this shoe, man. Snaps. Yeah, that's a good that's a good that's a good choice. <laughs> um so my last pick, uh I'm just gonna break from the trend and say there's oh, no Oh okay, involved, sneaky but... gag. Although, like, I guess there kind of is, but yeah, uh, first time we heard about it, the ZX eight thousand undefeated. Oh, <laughs> don't have to hide the UPS man from us. Yeah, I don't even know you bought those. <laughs> um, we're so not. Can, I, uh, you don't have to lie to us. You don't have to hide. You don't. You don't, you don't have to. You don't have to hide boxes. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. No, I mean, so so. I, for the longest time, was not like a, a huge Bape camo fan. But yeah. once they started collaborating with Undefeated, it was like, okay, I'm way more interested in this than I thought I was. So I have Campus 80s from years back, super multiple superstars. Uh, I mean, just, I always yeah. wanted the, the, so like, I have the Undefeated ZX8000, the orange ones might have seen on my Instagram from the original A to ZX pack. Um, so this being another A to ZX release, mm -hmm. I mean, just like I had to, right? It's, I I don't necessarily like the green on the uh, on the other version. If it was a darker green, I might've gone for it, but it's a little too bright for me. It's a little too Kelly green for me. 
but this black one, perfect. I, I, I think probably undefeated, like the undefeated Bape collabs with Adidas have always been really good. Um, I do want to get the undefeated, like the camo ZX 5, 5000s that came out, I don't know, five, six years ago. But I couldn't pass them up. I mean, I, I've, I've, I'll, you'll see eventually at some point I'll be wearing undefeated hats because like I'm, I'm just a big hat guy and like that five strikes logo is fire. But um, I, I think like undefeated is undefeated and FTC in San Francisco uh, are kind of like the closest Mason. I get to being like a, a Supreme fan. Like I'm not not a Supreme fan, but I just don't put in the effort to get most of the stuff. So this is definitely one of those pickups that I was super stoked to get. Um, That's dope. But That's dope. Uh, I also just wanted to say, I didn't see the pictures of this, but you might be able to see uh, the return of the hype on the yeah, tongue there. The secret banger, because you surprised both me and dope. Robbie on yeah. that one. So I'm, uh, this is my, my hype beast pickup for 2020. <laughs> Yeah, man. I didn't yeah, know you had him. Yeah. That's a really cool. I didn't pull the trigger on that. I should. I, I go back and forth whether or not I should still. Yellow. But that's a really good looking shoe. Yeah, it's super clean. So I'm pretty stoked with it. I haven't, I haven't worn him yet, but I'm a, I'm a fan. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I guess like we didn't really necessarily go in any particular order, but I figure we should probably throw out. Cool. I don't know, one, two, oh, maybe okay. three Same. honorable mentions that maybe we didn't pick up, but Same. we would like to yeah, pick up. Yeah, I know them. <laughs> Anything uh, you I got the oh, I already dunks, got them. which I wish I would have bought them when they were still sitting around <laughs> for 200 like, yeah, bucks. Yeah. Yeah. 600. Uh, and Kobe you can go ahead, Mike. Chaos and Kobe Bruce Lee are my, uh, my three pairs that I wish I could have got, but didn't. Yeah, man, I'm thinking there's still shoes I got in 2020. That you don't know yet. I you don't know. You, yes, those yes. Are, speaking to existence, those up. those are pretty cool. Uh, um, put those there. But no, the J Balvin ones I didn't get. <laughs> um, <laughs> He's like, no, nope, can't do it. Uh, the J Balvin ones I don't have. <laughs> um, <laughs> And literally any pair of New Balance 550s. I don't care if they're the ALDs or not. A um, couple episodes ago, I talked about wanting them. I actually went, I kind of forgot. So I, I showed up like an hour late to newbalance.com and they were long gone, the, the GR colorways of that shoe. I just think it's such a cool, yeah. like worthy type. I know it's not a worthy shoe, but like it has just like a cool, like, old school vibe kind of why i am attracted yeah. to the club c and why i'm attracted to the air force one it's just like that's a cool vibe so i really wish i could have gotten any colorways of that shoe and then while we're while we're being yeah. honest and i'm just going to expose myself i wish i had any of the ald new balance <laughs> releases that came out earlier in the year that had like those really playful colors on them played myself on there too i i, I had to keep the facade up like like i didn't like them but <laughs> I will. I'll, I'll let my guard down and say, I really like those shoes, but I'm not going to spend. And that's the number one thing. I'm not spending no resale on a New Balance. That can, like, never am I paying resale on a New Balance. So, may, maybe one day I'll, I'll, I'll find a pair. I'm not going to hold my breath, but one of those two New Balances and the J Balvins are, are are there for me. All right. So uh, my. If I, if I go with three, I'm going to say this is probably not a popular choice, but I really yeah. would like to get a pair of the uh, the New Balance Kawhi's, uh the mm. four bounces Ugh. colorway, that like blue yeah. and black. I, I like it, man. Um, that's definitely one of them. Jordan 35 is for sure on the list. I'll eventually pick up a pair of those. There's a bunch yeah. of colorways that I like. Uh, I don't I don't know if if uh i mean i don't necessarily have a specific colorway yeah. of the jordan 35 or the last shoe on my kind of wish list for this year 
um, the Space Hippie 03, the one with the strap yeah, across yeah, the yeah. foot. Mm -hmm. um, I like the original colorway with like, I mean, I don't know what it is. Look like infrareddish, orangish, reddish, whatever. Um, but I'd pretty much take any of those. I just don't. I haven't pulled the trigger on one yet, but eventually I'll grab a pair of those too because I, I think the concept and just like the, it's not quite like the ISPA level crazy. Yeah, they're dropping. Which price. I like some of those too, but they're they're pretty expensive. The Space Hippie is like I've seen them for relatively. Yo, that's what I'm talking about. So the last <laughs> one on my. Yeah, hopefully they keep coming down. I, I want to pay like 60, 70 bucks for a pair. <laughs> Ideally. Uh, all right. Well, that's a, that's whole, a pretty that's a pretty solid year. I, I just mean, like to give it on a scale a, of one to ten. How would like you rank? I mean, I don't think I'd probably ever give anything a definite ten, but I, I feel like an eight and a half is a strong number for twenty twenty releases. I'm the complete opposite. I give every year a 10 out of 10. So many freaking shoes drop every... I mean, just so many shoes drop that, like, <laughs> when you take the top 1%, they're all 10s. So, in my book. Yeah, that's fair. My, I, I, my, I think I... Nah. My top 1% is all, are all 10s, so... All right. I get it. I got you. I, I, think I'm, I think I'm probably with Mike. It's I, I would say it's probably, like, an 8. There's a lot of really good releases... Uh, the fact that they, you know, yeah. did a bunch of Jordan fours, you know, the flight 89s, there was a lot of new stuff like tech wise from at least in the running world, the Jordan 35, I think is pretty solid. <laughs> I think, I think like part of me still thinks they should always release original colorways in the Jordan 11 as retros. Uh, so if there was like a, a, a playoff playoff or a cool gray, it probably would have been a nine and a half or a 10. But pretty solid, pretty dope that the the, the Japan Jordan ones came back out too. Yeah. Um, it's it kind of like goes without saying that if those, yeah. if you had the opportunity to pay retail or or below for those, they'd be a must have. So I mean, they're kind of a must have if you if you can get them right. But um, overall, I think twenty twenty has been a pretty a pretty good year for releases, and like some of the stuff that Robbie talked about, right? The ALD stuff, the fact that New Balance brought mm -hmm. back a lot of interesting stuff. Obviously, Asics. I, I didn't even mention Asics re-released the original Gel Light three colorways, which, like, there's like a, a a yellow and green, the purple and orange. Like, I I have those um, in boxes downstairs, but um, to see those come back is always dope, and I don't think they get enough exposure because essentially Nike just shut everything down with all these Air Max ninety releases and all these retro products yeah. that were like perfect, right? Like, they did a really good job of bringing back the real like actual <laughs> product where you know that doesn't always happen with nike sometimes we get a air yeah. max one with some fly wire or some weird engineered mesh or whatever and it's like it's an air max one at the end of the day we just want the normal air max one so yeah i don't know it's pretty it's pretty good I, I i'm curious too like let let us know what you think either in the comments or you know obviously on social media you can follow us at sneaker history on all the platforms uh, if you're watching us on YouTube, make sure you hit subscribe because we're we're doing it here twice a week. New thing for us, and we could definitely use your support. And uh, if you're listening, uh, you know you can always head over to YouTube too and subscribe over there. But we appreciate you, you guys rocking with us because this has been really fun for us. It's really taken off for us this year, and I think I speak for both you guys and, and Rowett. It's just been really dope to see everybody supporting this podcast over the past like you know 12 months it's just it feels really good especially when the world is in such chaos to to have people saying how much they appreciate what we're doing so we're we're doubling down we're gonna do the videos we're gonna come at you with new podcasts new interviews robbie's got a couple of interviews on the way that are uh that are pretty the pretty pretty solid to to start us off and you know i'm just excited about it so uh anything else yeah. guys before we get out of here yeah I have a phone call coming in. Hold on. Oh god! Oh, it, it's it, it, it's saying it's saying to like and subscribe to this channel on YouTube. Oh, thanks for that reminder. I appreciate that. Shoot. So make sure you like this video, subscribe to the Sneaker History Podcast channel on YouTube. Yeah.
<laughs> oh man <laughs> right on bro we appreciate all of you and uh we'll catch you on the next one <laughs> peace <laughs> see ya bye <laughs> uh, that was perfect uh, that was phone. awesome <laughs>